Well, hello, my students. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Jay, and it's time for another English lesson where we have a read and repeat story where I have the opportunity to help you with your English vocabulary, your English fluency, and your English comprehension. So I hope you stick around until the end for today's short lesson. I know it's going to help you. Now, if you would like to read along with me, if this is your first time here on the channel, down in the description of today's lesson, you will find today's story and you can read along with me. Also, before we get into today's lesson, I want to invite you to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. So when I go live, you can join me in my live English class. We just had my first live English class. I believe it was last week sometime and we had a great time. And if you're available, I hope you can join me for my next one. With that being said, I hope you're ready to dive into today's English lesson. Let's have some fun. One sunny weekend, young Tommy eagerly, eagerly joined his grandpa for a fishing adventure. Armed with a worn out hat and a fishing rod that seemed almost as tall as him. Let's review some vocabulary words. Eagerly is a word I have used before here on the channel. When someone is eager to do something, they're anxious or they're looking forward to doing something. They're excited about it. You woke up this morning eager to check your phone to see if Jay had a new lesson. <laughs> eagerly okay grandpa grandpa now grandpa is another way that we say grandfather okay some people say uh papa i like to say granddaddy <laughs> what do they call a grandfather in your country let me know down in the comment section as you know i enjoy learning new things from my subscribers so make sure you respond to me down in the comments section another vocabulary word is worn out okay when something is worn out it has been worn a lot of times and it has what we call wear and tear okay maybe the color starts to fade a hole gets in it okay this is a fairly new a uh, sweater or hoodie, but I have some socks that are worn out <laughs> and they have holes in them. I'm embarrassed to say, but am I the only one? I know I'm not, but that's me. Okay. Sometimes when things get worn out, they get comfortable. Okay. Such as a hat. It can be worn out, but very, very comfortable. All right. Uh, another vocabulary word is, let's see, that's going to be it. Let's read and repeat. One sunny weekend, young Tommy eagerly joined his grandpa for a fishing adventure. Armed with a worn out hat and a fishing rod that seemed almost as tall as him. Great. Let's move on to the next sentence. I hope you're ready. As they approached the tranquil lakeside. The chirping of crickets and the gentle lapping of water against the shore created a serene backdrop. Okay. Approached as they got close to. 
tranquil, 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 tranquil is a word that describes something being peaceful, calm. I love going to the lake. I, there's a lake not too far from here, and it's always tranquil, peaceful. Okay, you can hear the birds chirping and flying. You can hear flies and mosquitoes. <laughs> you can hear frogs. Rabbit. Okay, so my sound effects are doing really good today. <laughs> All right. The gentle lapping of water. Lapping. Lapping. So when the water hits against the shore line or the boat it's like a shwish, shwish, shwish. or almost like you hear the when you're at the beach or the ocean you can hear the waves that could be described as the lapping of the water and when something is serene it's picture perfect okay serene peaceful that's synonymous with tranquil Okay, let's read and repeat. When I pause, you repeat. As they approached the tranquil lakeside, the chirping of crickets and the gentle lapping of water against the shore created a serene backdrop. Grandpa, a seasoned angler, shared tales of his own fishing escapades. 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 His words carrying the wisdom of countless fishing trips. So an angler, angler is a term that we use to describe a fisherman, a professional fisherman, or someone who is good at fishing. Angler, a tail. Now, tail can be T-A-I-L, which would describe the tail of an animal. Maybe the tail of the dog was short, okay? The tail of the cat was skinny, but T-A-L-E is tail, but that tail has to do with a story, okay? So they were by the shore sharing tales or stories. An escapade is another term for adventure, okay? My summer was filled with many escapades. We went fishing we went to the movies we went to new york city and then we came home escapades now i want you to notice here it says that grandpa his words carried wisdom his words carried wisdom so when someone's words carry wisdom it says that they know what they're talking about okay I like respecting my elders, so I listen to the words of my elders to gather wisdom for my life. Okay, let's read and repeat. Grandpa, a seasoned angler, shared tales of his own fishing escapades. His words carrying the wisdom of countless fishing trips. We're almost done. Tommy's eyes widened with anticipation as he cast his line into the glistening water. The fishing hook disappeared into the depths of below. Tommy's eyes widened. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> With anticipation. Anticipation. Okay. So anticipation is almost like eager. 
you're expecting something, okay? When you anticipate something. So Tommy threw his hook and line in the water, anticipating catching a fish, okay? Or he was expecting to catch a fish. The glistening water, okay? When the sun reflects off of the water, it sparkles or glistens, okay? It's like the sunlight just dances across the water. It's a reflection, okay? You ever seen someone with nice nice jewelry on and it glistens when the light hits it? It shines, it sparkles, okay? Let's read and repeat. Tommy's eyes widened with anticipation as he cast his line into the glistening water. The fishing hook disappearing into the depths below. Wow. All right, I hope you're ready. Just a few more sentences and we'll be done for today's lesson. The, ru the rustle of leaves overhead and the distant calls of birds created a natural symphony, blending with the occasional plop of fish leaped to catch insects on the surface. Okay? The rustle of leaves. Rustle. You know when leaves get together, they crunch. The rustle. Okay? The occasional plop of fish. So when a fish jumps out the water, the sound that it makes when it hits the water, blah, <laughs> it jumps out and then plow, it hits the water again. OK, let's read and repeat the rustle of leaves overhead and the distant calls of birds created. A natural symphony, 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 symphony or symphony, blending with the occasional, 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 plop as fish leaped to catch insects on the surface. I believe this is our last sentence. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, Tommy and Grandpa bonded together as their fishing rods cast shadows in the warm glow. Let's read and repeat. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, horizon, horizon. Tommy and Grandpa bonded together as their fishing rods cast shadows in the warm glow. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. If you have any comments or questions, leave it down in the comments section below. As I always say, I enjoy interacting with my subscribers and I am so grateful for all of you who have recently subscribed to the channel. I really hope my lessons have helped and strengthened you on your English speaking journey. Now, I have some other resources. I do have a podcast that you can listen to lessons on your phone. The link is down in the description. I have almost 100 episodes of my podcast. I'm on Instagram and I post fun learning pictures there. And I want to remind you again about 
my uh, live stream. So be sure to turn on the notification bell here and hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when I go live and hopefully you'll join me. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me on today. Again, I hope my lesson has helped you with your English vocabulary, comprehension, and fluency. My name is Jay. If you ever have a question, just leave it down in the comments section. If you have enjoyed today's lesson, please share it with a friend and consider giving me a like as that will help the channel as well as let me know you appreciate these lessons. <laughs> Until next time, have a great day and I hope you join me on my next lesson.